Shemot, Exodus 22. If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. If the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double If a man shall cause a field or vineyard at to be eaten, and shall put in his beast, and shall feed in another man's field, of the best of his own field, and of the best of his own vineyard, shall he make restitution. If fire break out, and catch in thorns, so that the stacks of grain or the standing grain, or the field, be consumed therewith, he that kindled at the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to guard, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he have put his hand unto his neighbor's goods. For all manner of transgression, whether it be for ox, for ass, for sheep, for raiment, or for any manner of lost thing, which another challenges to be his. The cause of both parties shall come before the judges, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man deliver unto his neighbor an ass, or an ox, or a sheep, or any beast to guard, and it die, or be hurt, or driven away, no man seeing it, then shall an oath of Yahuwah be between them both, that he has not put his hand unto his neighbor's goods. The owner of it shall accept thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. If it be torn in pieces, and then let him bring it for witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. And if a man borrow aught of his neighbor, and it be hurt or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be a hired thing, it came for his hire. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his woman. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. You shall not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lies with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrifices unto any Elohim, save unto Yahuwah only, he shall be utterly destroyed. 
You shall neither vex a stranger nor oppress him. For ye were strangers in the land of Mitzrayim. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If you afflict them in any wise, and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your women shall be widows, and your children fatherless. If you lend money to at any of my people, at that is poor by you, you shall not be to him as an usurer. Neither shall you lay upon him usury. If you at all take your neighbor's raiment to pledge, you shall deliver it unto him by that the sun goes down. For that is his covering only, it is his raiment for his skin. Wherein shall he sleep? And it shall come to pass, when he cries unto me, that I will hear, for I am gracious. You shall not revile the Elohim, nor curse the ruler of your people. You shall not delay to offer the first of your ripe fruits and of your liquors. The firstborn of your sons shall you give unto me. Likewise shall you do with your oxen and with your sheep. Seven days it shall be with his dam. On the eighth day you shall give it me. And ye shall be holy men unto me. Neither shall ye eat any flesh that is torn of beasts in the field. Ye shall cast it to the dogs.